the Kia Avia and in this video we are going to show you a RAM upgrade for a Lenovo or any other company laptop. So let's get started. Okay, so first all you need is a new memory stick. In this video I am going to use a 8GB DDR3 1666MHz Kingston uh, memory stick which I purchased this from a local store for 3500 rupees. So let's keep it aside. Then you will need a kind of screwdriver. Any normal manual screwdriver will do but for this video I am going to use a motorized Bosch IOIXO 3 screwdriver. So and and this is a machine which we are going to upgrade. This is a Lenovo G50 laptop with a PQ, Intel PQC processor and 4GB of RAM. So we are going to upgrade the 4GB RAM to 8GB one. So let's open it. First flip the laptop, turtle it, then remove the battery. To remove the battery, open this first notch like this, it will come red. Then the second notch to the towards your right. It's a bit hard. Okay, so we got that. We will hear a pop sound and the battery will pop out. Remove the battery. Uh, then uh, you hear there are three screws. I hope you can see one, two, and three. Take your screwdriver. Press it on the reverse mode reverse. Put it in the screw hole. So these are the three screws. These are very important so keep it aside in a safe place. I'll keep it here. Then push the lap, uh, push the upper cover towards yourself, towards like this. It will come out. Then push it upwards. Okay, so this is the interior of the laptop. Then here, as you can see, this is the hard drive. It's a 500 GB hard drive. It's a RAM stick. Then it's a Bluetooth adapter. Here we have the processor and this is the heat sink. So you might some uh, some might have the doubt that if you upgrade a RAM it's going to uh, ruin your warranty. No, it's not like that because according to Lenovo the RAM is a CRU that's a customer replaceable unit which can be replaced by customer without voiding the warranty. But if you can void your warranty if you open this screw uh, it has a seal over it and uh, if you try to change the processor or the heatsink so here is the ram stick this is the old one so first there are two clips on it you remove the push it towards your right then the left one again the ram will pop out then adjust it and then just pull it out so this was the old ram stick it's a 4gb one so i'll keep it aside there is the new RAM stick which I already opened so there is no fuss in the video of opening it. This is a new brand new Kingston 1666 MHz RAM stick. So as you can see it has many uh, memory cores on it than this one. It has only 8, it has 16. So uh, to insert this RAM stick first we will First we will match the notches. This this notch with this notch. Okay. Just keep it down. I hope you can see. 
okay so like this then you can you move it up and down to check whether it has aligned and fitted inside and then push it downwards push it downwards push it downwards when you push it downwards the two of the clips will clip on it and then you are ready to go then close the cover the same way close the cover the three screws these three screws them in the respective holes and I'll take the bot IOX and the forward mode <coughs> so they have a sore throat today then drive those screws inside like this okay, so there it goes and then the Battery stick here. That will go here. The push in inside. So it's locked in. The second notch will uh, automatically lock it, and then you have to just push the first safety notch. Lock. Sorry. Then here we go. We have our updated 8GB laptop, 8GB RAM laptop, and this was the old stick. So I'm just going to throw it or keep it or give it to somebody else. Okay, so I'll keep it in this cover. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button below. Thumbs up.